Okay, it's Ryan um, out here with Piper. Uh, so today with Piper, we did a few things to help her um, be more okay with us, be more trusting of us, um, and also be more um, confident, I guess, and more comfortable um, out here in this training room. So uh, basically what we did is we got her out to the bathroom first, and we took her on a pretty long walk. And I think the walk really helped a lot. Um, I think she likes walks. Like that's probably going to be something that's going to be a little motivator. Come here, Piper. Come. Good. And so at the beginning of the day, she wasn't taking any treats from us, but now she is. So took her for that long walk. Then we left her in this room um, just by herself. We were right out front here um, walking all the other dogs. We walked all the other dogs for about an hour and a half. I just kind of let her be in here, let her be comfortable in this space, uh, and popped in to check on her every now and then and drop off a little treat. And now I'm back in here working with her individually, and she's much more engaged, much more confident out here, um, comfortable with me, and she's taking treats, which is really great. Sit. Um, we also got her out with my dog Simba, who's a big dog, uh, so she's a little fearful of him, but that's going to help her confidence too because I, he's met thousands, maybe tens of thousands even of dogs in the last five years, or almost five years that he's been alive, and he's great with other dogs. He's been around old dogs that just don't like to be bothered. He's been around very small dogs that uh, he has to be careful with. He's been around big dogs, so he knows how to be around any dog. And I think I had, a, I don't know if I had a video of these two yesterday, but uh, I will get one of them here in the future. And um, she's getting more comfortable with him. So I think the first thing is get her comfortable with him and then get her out with some other uh, chill dogs. And that should help her, uh, her confidence around dogs a lot. And then uh, we'll also work with her... Um, so yeah, she was socializing with dogs. We'll also work with her on the leash around other dogs um, because they do have to understand the difference between when they're allowed to play and they're off leash. And when they're on leash, we don't want them lunging and pulling towards other dogs. So we'll be getting into all that over the next two weeks. Sit. Good. Sit. She has a hard time holding her sit. She gets up as soon as she gets a treat. <laughs> so we'll be working on that. A little bit too when we start weaning the treats out but with her we're going to go a little slower she's more fearful and more insecure uh, so we're really building her confidence first before we um, start to really like hold her accountable for for things like that with leash pressure and leash corrections okay. so i'm just having her go over these little um black boxes and they can actually um, they have legs on the bottom of them that can be put in and they'll be higher. So this is the precursor to getting her to kind of go over those. Um, and then we'll also have her kind of like going over um, the little PVC jump that we have here. So I don't think she's going <laughs> to, she's not ready for that yet. And then we have uh, another like ring that, that we'll work on getting her through. And those are just confidence building exercises for her. And we also have this little um, kind of like teeter-totter catwalk we'll be working with. Good girl, Piper. Piper, come. Good. Girl, Piper, sit. Good. Oh, sit. I'm trying to hold off on giving it to her if she pops up. Piper, sit. Good. I'm trying to get her to hold that sit a little longer. Good. Sit. Good. She sits good. It's just the fact that she gets up. Down, up, I don't know if she knows down. Piper, sit, down, 
Do you know down? Up. Down. I don't think she knows down, so we'll work on teaching her that. Down. Down. I'm just going to reward the sit for now. The down is going to take a little more patience to teach her, and I don't want the video to go that long. Uh, so I'm going to cut it there. Those are just some things we're doing, some things we're working on. I'm going to spend about 20 more minutes in here with her, uh, working on building her confidence, and then we're going to get her back out again at the end of the day, um, at least with Simba. Uh, just to kind of get more comfortable being around another dog. So see you again tomorrow on the next video.